Here's the field for tonight's 11th race. Number one, Wildwood Tracy, owned by John Lee Jensen and Tom Daniels, trained by Richard Wilson, Dean McGee. Number two, Ty Cobb Hanover, owned, driven, and trained by John Sheldon. Three is Pat Dell, owned by Jim Patrick and Larry Stubbaum, trained and driven by Larry Stubbaum. Four is Charge Flight, owned by Bruce Barlow and Richard Stransky. Trainer is Luan Croninger, the driver is Dave McGee. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we wish Dave McGee a very happy birthday. Number five is Zambuka, owned by Helen Herringer, Christian and Dennis Maybe. Trainer is Dennis Maybe, the driver Dennis Maybe. Number six, Watts Forward Dessert, owned and trained by Marshall McGee, Dale Heitman. Seven, Fire the Cannon, owned by Jerry Hansen and E. Ray Stanley, trained by Jerry Hansen, Tony Morgan. Number eight, Kissam Joe, is owned by Vicky and Richard Sinnert, trained by Danny Nance, the driver, Danny Knox. There's five minutes, so pause five minutes. Gators remain time of the turn. Here they come. Charge plate goes for the lead. Wildwood, Tracy, Ty Cobb, Hanover. Into the turn they race. And charge plate is on the outside taking command. Wildwood, Tracy. Second, two lengths, Ty Cobb, Hanover. Third, two lengths, Pat Dell. Followed by Zambuka. What's forward dessert? Fire the cannon and kiss him, Joe. Out of the turn heading for the corner. And charge plate has a two length lead. It's Wildwood, Tracy. Second, a length and a quarter. Ty Cobb, Hanover, and third. Pat Dell right there and forth, first over, fire the cannon, 29 and 4, the opening quarter, and up front charge plate, two on top, Wildwood Tracy getting the trip second, fire the cannon, fires up on the outside, fourth, now third, moving to second, approaching the half mile marker, charge plate, is your leader three parts of a length, fire the cannon, is on the outside, second, Wildwood Tracy right there and third, what's for dessert, Followed on the inside by Ty Cobb, Hanover, Sambuca, halfway home, 59 and 1, charge plate, into the clubhouse, turn three parts of a length, fire the cannon, is on the outside, second, Wildwood, Tracy, saving ground with the leaders, Ritz, Watts, forward, dessert, on the inside, it's Ty Cobb, Hanover, out of the turn, they curve into the box, to Ritz, charge plate, your leader of length, fire the cannon, is on the outside, second, Wildwood, Tracy, with the leaders, third, what's for dessert, as they drive by three quarters, 128 and four, into the far turn, charge plate, three parts of a length, on the outside, let's fire the cannon, trying to come on second, Wildwood Tracy, on the inside, Ty Cobb, Hanover, three wide, Zambuka, here they come, turning for home, and charge plate, has a lead under urging, Wildwood Tracy is out for the drive, through the stretch, it's charge plate with the lead, and charge plate opens up. Charge plate is going to win it. Two on the wire. Wildwood Tracy up for second. Tycom Hanover and Pat Dow. Number four, charge plate was first. Number one, Wildwood Tracy second. Number two, Tycom Hanover third. Number three, Pat Dell was four. Ladies and gentlemen, the inquiry sign is posted. Reason for the inquiry, ladies and gentlemen, concerning to Ty Cobb Hanover for a possible violation of the pylon rule. In the winner's circle, charge plane owned by Bruce Barlow and Richard Stransky, trained by Luan Croninger, driven tonight by Dave McGee. Once again, happy birthday to Dave McGee.
Yankees from down to but him two three four one six seven five eight on the bottom. Pick three of one six four three hundred eighty nine dollars forty cents. Four one perfected twenty nine dollars even. <laughs> 